Good afternoon, folks, and welcome to another edition of The Rise Report, the best show on social media. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And if you're already a subscriber, just double check. Make sure you still subscribe and definitely share this content out with somebody because there's so many people who need to get get great content like this. Uh, The link to the video is in the description. And if you would like to watch my morning show, the link is also in the description to my morning show, which is done Monday through Fridays, 9 a.m. Central Time. Okay. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about this particular clip. Um, There was a little bit of a misdirection, okay? A little bit of a misdirection. A gentleman made an agreement, as you can see. Judge Mathis was making a judgment about the agreement. Now, as I was listening to him, I was trying to figure out which way Judge Mathis was going to go. Now, Judge Mathis did rule in favor of the plaintiff, which was the woman. And she wanted the rest of her money for the event she did. Okay. She was given a thousand dollars. It was a total charge of thirty five hundred, but he hadn't paid the other twenty five hundred. Now, she went to this particular event. She did perform. Now, she obviously did not perform for a long period of time. And I really can't say I, I blame her. Um, the man did make some assumptions about her based on, you know, he said what he saw on Instagram. You know, she was putting it out there. She was, you know, using Instagram to show a sexual nature or um, she was promoting the sexual side of herself as a performer. And based on her um, promoting her sexual, her sexual side, as far as being a performer, he thought that she would be great for the show. But see, the thing is, it was a swingers party. Now, I've said before, and I'm going to continue to say it until guys kind of get it. See, a lot of black men have been socialized to be afraid of black women. Now, did the man do something that was also terrible? Well, not by man's standards. Now, of course, me uh, having Christian beliefs, I'm not going to tell anybody to go to a swingers party because that's just not my cup of tea. Okay. Um, that's not where I'm going to direct people to go at this particular point in time. Um, but people do have a right to do certain things. Now, is going to a swingers party legal? Yes, it is legal. You know. It's not, per, you know, moral to some people, but it's definitely a legal thing. Now, did the man pay her the deposit of $1,000 for her to come out? Yes, he did. Now, he didn't give her the rest of the money. Now, honestly, she should have got her money up front, okay? She she uh, received her $1,000. She came to the event. She said she tried to work with the guy. He did not say, he did not say that he... He's unwilling to uh, pay her. He said, you know, let me get it taken care of after the event. Now, neither one of them said that that didn't happen. OK, as she pre- I have to accept that as she presented it, that's kind of how it was. All right. Now, if that was the case and she agreed to go on stage and start performing. Now, if she did one or one and a half songs, as, she, <laughs> as he said, what well, she really didn't protest too much her attitude was i did enough okay now i kind of understand where she's coming from now why do i understand where she's coming from and and shout out to marco ross thanks for the super chat my brother thank you for the super chat with the super sticker thank you very much my brother um i see where she's coming from because she did make an agreement now her people took care of the agreement he said he talked to her staff you know her people uh, she came out, but she should have been told up front that this performance was going to be for a swingers party or a gathering of swingers. She should have been told that up front. Now, why did the man not tell her that up front? Well, you know, he obviously got, you know, he he was doing the smooth talking or people say pimp talk or jab talk, however you say it. You know, the, the man is out there. You know, he's a smooth talker, obviously. You know, he he presented himself pretty well. But the thing is, at the end of the day, he made a decision to keep some information from her that she kind of needed to know. It's reasonable to, to, to perform at a swingers party while knowing that that's what the, the party is going to be. That's a reasonable thing. It's unreasonable to expect somebody to perform at a swingers party 
without prior knowledge that they're going to a swing of party to perform and you're going to have a bunch of people naked at this particular location that's not reasonable it is reasonable to have an expectation that people are going to have their clothes on even if it's a party it's reasonable <laughs> to have an expectation that people are going to have their clothes on so was he wrong or was he right i think he was actually wrong for not being direct with her and a lot of black men see because we've been socialized to be afraid of black women see this is a a, a way of a man who for whatever his reason is he chose not to be totally upfront not totally honest not totally direct now see this is not a male female relationship situation this is a whole different type of situation this is a man hiring a woman to do a performance but he was afraid of how she would respond if he disclosed the information about it being a swingers party now she did what she did but she obviously left early neither one of them really seemed to be combating that but she did sue him for the rest of the money now this man just lost the case and now he has to pay her the rest of the money now he should have just gave her the rest of the money anyway now why do i say he should have gave her the money anyway because i promote men must be a ruthless nice guy if you want someone to perform at your swingers party tell them it's a swingers party and let them just agree to do it and if they don't agree to do it you find somebody else do not give a woman misdirection okay that is something that we as men should not have to do we shouldn't be so worried about women's reactions that we misdirect them we should be upfront with them we shouldn't tell them honestly and if a woman makes an agreement and the agreement doesn't work out for her you don't have to feel no type of way about it you cannot allow women to shame you into any any feeling that you should not have once you made an agreement to something regardless of what it is you've agreed to it if you make an agreement with me i want you to stick up to your end of the bargain i'm gonna stick up to my end of the bargain if for some reason i cannot stick up to my end of the bargain i will tell you why i cannot stick up to my end of the bargain and i will offer something to say well if i can't do this is it okay if i can do something else now if i can't get it done I will simply just not charge and that's the way you have to be because you know we are men we're supposed to be the leaders the protectors the providers so if you're going to do that as a man who's afraid to tell a person that he's hiring what he's hiring her for it's not going to come off in a manly way okay you're not going to come off in the right way and why would you have an expectation that if you take somebody to court and you and you're hiring now you paying the cost to be the boss because you're the one that's paying why would you be afraid to tell somebody what you're paying them to do that's where the problem came in he was afraid to say what he was paying her to do he wasn't exact so therefore it was a misdirection now you can't depend on everything to fall the dominoes to fall is exactly how you want if you misdirect somebody else things can go haywire and in this particular case it kind of went haywire for him now the fact that it went haywire for him was totally his own fault he was in control he was the one talking to the representative he was the one that was able to explain what was doing he was in charge of of um, uh, getting the event together he was in charge of making the flyers he had ample opportunity to make it clear what he was hiring her for he failed to do so now this is this is a space where we talk about accountability all the time okay and i'm not gonna dog the man he just simply made a mistake and this mistake cost him money so let his mistake cost him money but let's everybody else learn from the mistake so it don't cost us money or anything else if you're going to engage in anything with a woman even if it's business be direct put them in a position where they can't say they don't understand see some guys will say well you know maybe she did understand or maybe this is plausible deniability if you are 100 percent direct women cannot use plausible deniability to say they didn't understand exactly what was going on this is good to do for relationships this is good to do for business do not allow people to interpret things unnecessarily because sometimes people interpretations will go in a, a negative way and will have a negative effect on you and if you're going to spend money you want to spend your money where you can enjoy 
the money that you spend. Now, he was supposed to spend his money and make good money off the fact that he's having this swingers party. Not something I would attend, but that's what he wanted to do. So he's supposed to do this without a headache. Now, he obviously had more of a headache because now he had to go through legal proceedings and he's still going to pay the money. So what did he gain by giving her misdirection? The only thing he gained was extra court costs, extra trouble to actually show up to court, go through with the litigation, and he's still going to end up the same way. He's going to now spend more money to still give her the same money that he was already supposed to give in the first place, simply because he did not say clearly what he wanted. That's a bad way to lose money. He could have, he could have, he could have saved himself a lot of money by just making it totally plain what he wanted her to do and where it was going to be, what type of event it was going to be. That's all he had to do at the end of the day. So there is no excuse that he has for not telling her that this was going to be a swinger party. So that's the way I see it. So I got to agree with Judge Mathis on this. And Judge Mathis is a great judge. We, I'm pretty sure everybody knows that. But in this case, the man simply misdirected her. And I do believe the root to some of these things is because we're so worried about what women are going to say that we leave out information sometime and it can come back to bite you. So don't put yourself in that position for it to come back and bite you. So I'm going to leave it right there, y'all. Now, anybody who wants to, uh, who if you want to check out my morning show, the link is in the description. Make sure you uh, uh, um, subscribe to that channel as well. I will see y'all in the morning. Lonely of the habitual line steppers. I'm Roger. I'm right. And I'm out.